Welcome back to Modern Garage Barbecue. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're doing some tequila lime wings on the El Chao Rotisserie. I'm gonna show you how to make a spicy margarita marinade to soak some wings in. I'm gonna tell you what's in it. A little bit of Jose, a little bit of lime, a little bit of jalapeno, a whole lot of goodness. After they're done soaking in there, we're gonna toss them up on some skewers. I'm gonna show you how to make a twisted tequila lime rub to hit on top of those wings before we take them for a spin. Real simple, real tasty. You ready to do this? Let's go. All right, let's toss together that spicy margarita marinade. We're gonna be going with quarter cup fresh lime juice. This is the juice from two limes. Into that, I'm going with just a cup of, a quarter of a cup of regular water. A couple tablespoons of canola oil. That's looking good right there. Now here I got four cloves of garlic that I pressed, a small handful of cilantro that's chopped up, and the zest from one lime into the bowl. We'll come back with a tablespoon of honey. looking good right about there we'll come back with some Jose Cuervo this is the one I'm using this is a two ounce little nip a shot whatever you want to call it get that in there come back with some pickled jalapeno slices usually I do have homemade but I have none here today so we'll go with the jar just fine this is to your taste. And we'll come back with a tablespoon or two of the juice from those pickled jalapenos right about there. Looks good to me. Come back with a little bit of kosher salt and some black pepper. And we'll just give it a nice mix. There you go, the smell coming off this right here is amazing. Let's get our chicken and get him dunking. All right, we got our chicken. We got some pretty nice sized wings here. Got them all washed up, cleaned up. Just gonna hit them up with a little bit of that marinade. This stuff, I'm telling you right now, it is awesome. We're gonna let this go Probably for about an hour, hour and a half in the refrigerator. All right, let's toss together my twisted tequila lime rub. I got a half a tablespoon of ancho chili powder. I got a half a tablespoon of smoked paprika. A half a teaspoon of lime powder. I'm using true lime, crystallized lime, good for bacon, cooking, seasoning. The stuff right here really pops. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder. We got a half a teaspoon of ground coriander, quarter of a teaspoon of jalapeno powder, quarter of a teaspoon of fine sea salt, and also I got a pinch of just regular sugar, everyday sugar. Get all this here, toss it into a container, mix it all up. All right, we got our wings all marinated up. Roughly about two hours they've been sitting in it. I did go in a couple times, stir them up to be sure they get a nice coating on that marinade. We'll get our skewers here for the El Charo. Going with the regular blade here. Just gonna show you a few. You probably already know what I do every time, but we'll go again. We'll go with the little drumettes. Get yourself right under the bone. Pop it on in. What I like doing is to come back the opposite side. We got the meat there, bone there. We're gonna throw the bone down this side and the meat up on the other side now. It's that easy. Get one more here for you. Just 
Just like that. Grab a couple flats here, show you how we do those. These are real simple. What you're gonna do when a flat is, you just take it, you'll find the middle of the bone. Pop it right in. Can't get no easier than that. Get a couple more of these here. These are some big monsters on a couple of these wings, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Nice. Leave, I leave a little bit of a space there. You don't have to. But I like getting a little extra heat up through there, crisp up the sides there. We'll come one more. And what we'll do here once we got them all racked up, we'll come back with a little bit of our twisted tequila lime rub. Stuart and shaker. Just dust them up nice. Get both sides of it. Simple enough. I'm gonna get the rest of these going. We'll meet you out at the El Charo. All right, we get the El Charo fired up. I got a chimney combination of lump charcoal and Weber briquettes. A couple little chunks of uh, pecan on there. I'm using a six inch deep Hotel pan, it's a three quarter, fits perfectly, keeps the flames exactly where I want them, right there, contained. Let's get this loaded up. It's got wings, they're pretty damn good. Just get them fired on there, nothing really to it. See, looking pretty good, right? That rub's looking nice. And a third, Right over here. And we'll come back with number four. Right in the middle on the top. We'll let these spin for a few. We'll bring it back to check them out. All right, we're about 20 minutes into this cook here and we are looking good. I've been moving them from left to right, top to bottom. Just get them around, change the position of the heat there. They start cooking a little too much, pop them up top. As you can see, the El Charo, it's self-basting. These wings right here are looking mighty fine, right? They just drip. They start getting flaming up on you. Turn up your speed, you're going a little bit too slow. You wanna keep those juices just spinning and flowing around it. Keeping it nice and coated with that deliciousness right there. The El Charo is definitely a wing cooking machine. If you're thinking about getting El Charo, as always, down below in the description, hit up the outdoor store, use my code BTGBBQ at checkout, get yourself 5% off anything El Charo. We're gonna let these wings spin just a little bit longer. When we're about ready to pull, we'll bring you back. It's been a little bit over a half hour or so, total cook time, and we're pretty much done. You can see how good they're looking, and they are just dripping. I'm gonna get these pulled. We'll get them plated up. We'll bring you back for a taste test. We got plated up. Let's get you in for a little bit extra close up there. I did hit them again with our rub. Once we're done, just give that a little extra layer of flavor there. And these things are smelling awesome. I know they're gonna taste good. Let's get a little taste test going here. Oh man. Perfectly done. Man. Those wings right there are popping. That marinade is pulling through. You get a little bit of that tequila, you definitely pick up that lime. It's got a little sweet, a little bit of heat. That rub right there, shine it through. Awesome combination, real simple cook. The El Charo, once again, rocked it out. Wing cooking machine. You're gonna be seeing a few more El Charo cooks coming up with the weather breaking. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay safe.